Anytime you're in any place where you have a speaker, a singer, a performer, a movie, that's why they have these cineplexes going on now, not only to save money, but to get you corralled under one dome. And once you do that, you have a brain that has two lobes, five divisions. You have your left brain and your right brain. One is called logical, the other is called rational. Actually irrational because the right brain is like a five-story building, a block square, and the left brain's like a Quonson hut. You've got the left brain controlling a five-story building with everything you can think of in it, and this is where we give most of our attention to the so-called logical brain. So once the logical brain, which supposedly differentiates and teaches you right from wrong, makes you use logic and governorship by logic, once the left brain is occupied, logically looking at singing, dancing, whatever it is, and getting your attention, the right brain can be easily accessed. When the right brain can be easily accessed, interesting things happen. The right brain believes anything that it hears in your tenor of voice, your modulation of voice, your volume of voice, everything about your vibration, anytime it hears it, it believes it. Under hypnosis, you deaden the left brain, the logical reasoning conspiracy brain, and you open up the right brain. Drugs can do it, but a simple thing like using the spoken word can now do it too. Because in many of these places, they are wired for sound that you do not hear. They are wired to work on a frequency that the left brain doesn't pick up, but the right brain does. I have a workshop. And that's the way I got through school so fast people couldn't understand. In fact, they accused me of cheating. I didn't have to cheat because the creator had already cheated for me. I found out an easy way to access the right brain, which forgets nothing, and how to tag it, call it up when I need it. It's still doing it, but now it's doing it without your control. The key is to be able to control the genie, the jinn, the wonderful spiritual inside you that begs for freedom and gets locked up. Your right brain can do just about anything you imagine because it is your key to spirit, mind, and soul. Through the pineal gland and the king's chamber and the lower queen's chamber, which is nothing but the hypothalamus of the two biggest organs and glands in your body that separates you from the beast and everything else and they deaden it. So once you're occupied with the left brain, they can now send down a high frequency signal to your right brain. You won't even do it's been implanted and you'll carry out every instruction that it gives you because your governor is off. Your modulator is gone. And then they tell you to forget that it was gone if you remember to forget. Huh? I love playing with you because they already are. I do it with love. They do it with malice, aforethought, and hate, and envy. Worse than that, they envy you. You don't even know why you're envied, but you are. Anything that speeds up six times over and becomes a blur is what your right brain hears. Anything below that is what your left brain, logical brain hears, and your right brain just goes to sleep and say, well, it's another foolish day. Another day I can sleep because the people ain't ready. They're not operating on a vibration fast enough. Well, in spite and despite of you, the planet is now going to operate on a frequency that's fast enough. And if you don't catch up, you're going to die. You're going to die anyway. But you'll die faster if you can't keep in synchronous, in harmony, in vibrational, rational with the planet. Your planet is speeding up its vibrational rate. It's creating a magnetic field. Magnetism is for the spiritual people. It's for people with souls. It's what our planet used to have before the moon was put here, before all the dragons came here and tried to make it part of their galaxy and tried to create humanoids, succeeded in one, failed in the other, but they're still trying. I just told you a lot right there. I don't know how many of you heard me, but I tried. 
At this time, there's a battle between the draconic forces called snake people, alligator people, reptile people, whatever you want to call them, that are egg-born, have no souls, and the soul womb-borns who are just beginning to find out how you fought the battle and licked them before, but now they're licking you and you know what they're licking you in. Because it's a time when you're going backwards instead of forwards. And as you try to awaken, they put more stress on you. Reverse mortgages, subprime loans, bills sitting twice a month to you, taxes overtaxing, depleted uranium, shots, vaccines. Here comes the next flu. Here comes the next epidemic. Here's something going to fall on your head from space. Anything to keep you so stressed out that you cannot take time to meditate and to think. Anything to make you think that material things are the only thing you have in life when you were born here to learn that the spiritual value is what you really must come back to.